The Department of Rural Road has allocated a budget of 60 million baht to carry out 11 road construction projects in Phuket following the government's dust-free road program. The information was released by Director of the Provincial Rural Road Office, Mr. Jesada Winsan, who detailed the route's development as Ban Nahan to Ban Nanai, Ban Tunka to Borsom, Maikau to Ban Manik, Ban Nanua to Puantatan in Paklok, Chalong to Patong, along Klong Ban Yai to Ban Don, Patak to Naihan, Naya to Ban Sayuan to Ban Sapsali to Ban Sayuan in Rawai. He also explained that the local authority has requested to the government via local Democrat MPs for an additional budget of 26 million baht to connect Chalong to Patong's Nanai area to facilitate commuters between the populated areas to the tourist area of Patong. And over 30 plots of land under high voltage power lines were donated to the Phuket governor for new highway construction. The Phuket governor, which I press now, continues to meet local villagers in different communities to explain about his plans to develop an alternative road to connect the airport with the Phuket city area. The governor proposed a second road is built under the high voltage power line parallel to the existing Tepkesetri road to ease traffic congestion and cater for the island's tourism growth. He recently met with villagers in Srisantorn area. The governor said most people understood and agreed to donate their plots lying under the power lines, while some are still making a decision and misunderstood the new road would be an expressway. Five landowners in Srisantorn have agreed, so it totals up 17 with 30 land plots in Talong district. He had sought support from the local government and Talong District to work on the negotiations with landowners. When acquiring the land, it will be adjusted into a dirt road of about six kilometers in an initial stage. If everything goes as planned, the new development work can commence in two months' time, the governor concluded. And volunteer tourist police are given new ID card badges. 112 tourist police volunteers were presented with new ID badges by the Phuket Vice Governor, Smith Palawatvichai. The volunteer program was launched since 2005, aiming to have civil volunteers, Thais and foreigners, to assist authorities in looking after tourists of many nationalities. At present, there are 84 Thais and 28 foreign volunteers who can speak over 25 languages. They are mostly operating in major tourist sites to provide information and assist tourists when needed. But with the upcoming ASEAN meetings, they are also helping with security for VIP guests. The second life-saving carnival is being held in Patong this weekend. The organizer, Jane McDougall, informed Adam and News that the Nipper Carnival Surf Life-Saving Carnival for Children, consisting of fun events to encourage water safety and confidence, will be held first on Saturday, July 11th at Loma Park with registration at 8.30 a.m. with the first event at approximately 9 a.m. There are six events across three age groups, 5 to 7, 8 to 11, and 12 to 15 with medals for the first, second, and third place in every event. The approximate finish time is 12.30. The Adult Phuket Surf Life Saving Carnival is on Sunday, July 12th, also at Loma Park, with registration at 8.30 a.m. The official opening is organized by the Patong Municipality at 9 a.m. with age categories of under 18, open 18 to 29, over 30s, over 40s, over 50s to win 80 medals for first, second, and third place in every event. The approximate finish time is 5 p.m. with a gala dinner at La Meridian Phuket Beach Resort for competitors and sponsors at 7 p.m. Major sponsors for both of these events are La Meridian Phuket Beach Resort and Patong Municipality. And finally, in local and related news, a Dutch swimmer died on Kata Beach last Friday after ignoring red flag signs. Emphasizing the need for more beach lifeguards and equipment in the future, another foreigner died on a Phuket Beach last Friday evening. He was filmed here by a viewer's mobile phone on Katayai Beach as guards and volunteers tried to revive him with CPR for over 30 minutes after he was recovered from the rough sea by an Italian surfer who saw him inhaling water and looked like he was drowning. 
He was swimming alone in the area right in front of red danger signs indicating it was dangerous to swim. Most swimmers observed the warning, but according to witnesses, he seemed to be oblivious to the signs. According to the Italian, he was conscious when he was carried back to the beach, but then collapsed and vomited. Volunteers, including a swift dive master from Seafun Divers, gave him CPR repeatedly as they tried in vain to revive him, but they did not have any defibrillator machine to stimulate his heart, even after an ambulance and police arrived on the scene. It was later revealed he was a Dutch national.